we all possess this wonderful communication device. It allows us to connect with all our friends and with the world. Through this device, we all have a voice. Through this device, we are the center of attention. We find validation. Our existence is a hub. Yet, as we can see, it is terribly fragile. Hi, I'm Suri from Panasonic Kids Fitness News. Social media is no stranger to all of us, and with smartphones, we stay even more connected to all our friends. Social media has a very big part in all our lives, youth especially. It has come to a point where social media has direct impact on our emotions and our lives. So, yeah, the more, like, you know, when we get a lot of likes, you, we feel like a bit happy and lightened, something like that. I feel because, good, you know, yeah, but feel good too, because, you know, at least we know that some people care about us now, like, we post things, they look and through it, they like, actually at least, care about it. Yeah, at least they give a like or something like that, like, to know that they are there. When I get likes on social media, like Facebook or Instagram, I feel appreciated because I like, like people take their time to see my photos and so like them. So I also feel popular. We spoke to Dr. Lim San San from the National University of Singapore for her views regarding this phenomenon. It's natural that youths will actually go onto these social media platforms to seek the affirmation that they would like from their peers. So, for example, if you're someone who's very creative and you want to share your creations with the world, you could share them over your blog, over your Instagram, over your Twitter account and so on. And in the process of sharing your creative works, you could get affirmation, people who praise you for the creative work that you do. At the same time, there are also other ways in which youths can get affirmation. When they share um, particular posts or photographs or status updates on their Facebook or other social media accounts, friends will like and perhaps retweet and share or give affirming comments. So all of these different kinds of um, platforms and all of these different kinds of um, functions within social media platforms allow youths to gain social affirmation in various ways. Recently, Facebook has revealed that they have been working with a group of researchers to manipulate the newsfeed of their users so as to see the effects on their emotions. Unsurprisingly, the company has received a lot of backlash for their actions. But what is actually more worrying is how dependent our lives is on social media. Another report states that Facebook actually makes us feel worse about ourselves. This is when we start comparing our lives to others and we decide that we have a worse life and that we have less achievement than them. I would often feel jealous as most of the people post pictures of them being overseas or uh, enjoying food such as sushi or some other food. I'll be back in Singapore doing stuff like studying or eating normal Singaporean food. We see them, we get angry because yeah, we want to do what they do but due to school work and other stuff, we don't have the time to do it. Yeah, and, and you know, just show off like this. Yeah. yeah, a bit, you know, feeling a bit jealous. Feel and like angry also. Yeah, yeah. mixed feelings. Lah. So, what can we as youths do to not let the virtual environment affect our real lives? While on the one hand, the virtual environment is clearly very important to us now that many of us are connected and we interact with our friends both offline and online, it's very important to actually maintain a balance between your offline, environment, your offline interactions and your online life. Because, as I said earlier, if you allow your online interactions to actually consume your life, you may then feel very dejected. Um, so it's important that you still continue to interact with your friends in a face-to-face -face setting while also complementing that face-to-face -face interaction with online interaction. But don't allow your virtual interactions to become your only interactions with your friends. Do maintain a balance between your online life and your offline one. While well, it is beneficial for us to receive affirmation from the virtual world, let us not neglect the real world as well. We exist both in cyberspace and in real world. So let us take the time to remind ourselves that it's equally important to affirm someone else too. So instead of liking someone else's Facebook post, why not put in a little bit more effort and pat someone on their back? I'm Suri reporting from Kids Witness News. Thank you.